Welcome you to the family people. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today we're going to be talking about building a artistic support network. So the artistic support network could include your, your friends, family, and etc. However, it's highly important that you pay attention as to who you uh, spend your time around because uh, certain people can drain your energy and certain people can uplift your energy depending on the type of person you're around. And so from an artistic perspective, uh, the people that you may want to connect with is are also people that are also doing things regarding the arts. So if you're a comic book artist, you may want to connect with other people that are doing uh, comic book arts. And that way you'll have the uh, the motivation to keep on going. Uh, you guys can exchange and share ideas, etc. Just purely due to the fact that you both have something that you're passionate about. And you guys can, you know, evolve even further. And so recently I've I've looked at a, a website called uh, meetup.com. And there's a uh, section for a meetup for comic artists. Or professional comic artists you know and you know I went there I've learned a few things I taught them a few things etc we exchange you know and there's also an other option to meet people around the forums you know befriend some people uh, you could do your own uh, live streams have people visit you and then connect with the people from there to strengthen that uh, that network and as you're in the process of building your support network, similar people, for example, if you're an artist, you're connecting with other artsy people, uh, that's the time to start to bond and connect even more, even further. And so you wouldn't want it, you wouldn't want the uh, your support network to be a one-dimensional relationship where you're just only purely talking about comics. The entire idea of the uh, support network is okay not only talking about comics but also just generally bonding and getting to know who they are and etc as you as they get to know who you are as a person pretty much you know becoming best friends with the uh, people that have the similar like interests as you and so in addition to going to the comic artist meetup I've met I've encountered a lot of people I've learned a lot about them for example, I know that there's this one conspiracy theorist dude who's like really heavy in conspiracy theories, hence his, uh, you know, some of the inspirations for his comic. And there's also another guy who told me that he used to do, uh, he used to uh, make a DMT, which is pretty interesting. And pretty much talking about anything that gets to the, to the core of who they are as a person besides making a, a comic. And usually these friendships to form they take time like a like a plant that you have to order every day and since they do take time it's not something like you can say and so to water the plant in your supportive uh, network uh, you will want to find people that can engage and stimulate you in a you know the conversation and so a surface conversation would be the uh, the old hey hi how are you etc and then the conversation is not as detailed and it doesn't really uh have it doesn't have any depth to it and it just ends there you'd want to engage in much more stimulating engaging something that's more evolving you know something that isn't boring and also it's all a matter of perspective what's boring to you may be someone's you know entertainment so even the smallest thing Things can have a engaging, uh, stimulating conversation like uh, past experiences, uh, family, or something as uh, small as flower. I just saw a cool flower. I wonder what kind of flower specimen that is. Learn about your flowers. Or something as small as, uh, or weird as uh, a weird dream of you being a squirrel at SeaWorld or something. And so as you are connecting with other like-minded uh, artists, you know, of course, you're gonna have the uh, the stream, the stream of connection with you know comics. You know, you're, you both have the passion for comics, but you'll want to create uh, 
multiple streams of bonding so bond about something else or bond about various other things that are going on in the person's life there are some friends that I had did have along like uh, ages ago years ago when it came to uh, playing a MMO I used to do and so the only stream of connection that we uh, bonded through was just talking about the game you know that we were playing the MMO that we were playing and so when it gets when I got to the point where I wasn't really interested in MMO anymore the friendship and all that kind of died out because there wasn't a different stream of connection that we bonded through and so through bonding from multiple streams of passion the relationship or friendship tends to grow stronger so you may be into gaming and the other person may be into gaming that's one stream and maybe into anime and the other person is into anime that's another stream and then there's this stream of you know you sharing your own past and then the other person sharing their past that's another stream you want to share and exchange multiple streams to help build the uh, foundation of your support network and in addition you'll encounter people that have no streams of passions like how you have you may have you may just have different streams of passions that aren't you know compatible with one another and that's not something to take personally it's just that you, the other person is into different things and you're into different things and you have nothing to you know strengthen the bond with the other person so you guys can just you know respect each other and just go your separate ways and that's similar to business let's say for example you're growing a gaming channel and you have uh, you you're looking for you know people to look at your gaming channel and you're looking at a wrong niche and let's say that niche is uh, people who are into makeup or people who like nature those people who are into makeup they're not really that interested in uh, the gaming their niche is makeup and the people that are into nature they're not interested in gaming their niche is nature so you may want to find other people with like interests that also share gaming so that's in terms of you know when you're marketing your stuff you want to market towards people that are into uh, gaming and so for example I may mix art counseling kind of channel and so my target audience are are uh, people that do art and so if I were to put my my stuff at uh, let's say a, a gaming forum it wouldn't like make sense or you know it wouldn't really uh, get as much traffic compared to if I put it within a, a art forum and furthermore there will be people that you may not be you may not want within your supportive social group and so these people may be uh, for example I know uh, some popular people in fields of uh, different fields like uh, music they would uh, you know get people that would come to them and the reason why they would uh, come to them is either they are they want something they need a favor or they're looking to uh, have some kind of social climb from meeting that fa from meeting that uh, popular person or so and you don't have to be a uh, popular or so to experience something like this I mean let's say that you're a really smart a math student at your class and you will have like a, a couple of people like wanting to befriend you to either you know, get the answers or to either uh, study from and as you are as they are befriending you when the semester ends and so their only pur purpose of befriending you is so that you can assist them to pass the math class and then after the math class you don't see them anymore and I don't act like I'm a, I'm a saint or anything because I've done it before you know, I've I've actually befriended someone just to act, have some assistance in math, and it's more so like a temporary friendship, and it isn't like a a bad or a good thing. But this is something to pay attention to when you're allowing people in your uh, supportive uh, your supportive network. And that will be the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions. Hit us up on this very social media sites. I'll be down in the description below, and or leave a comment. And don't forget to uh, you know consider hitting that subscribe button to join the family. And that'll be all. Peace out for now.